Hi, everyone. Uh, it's Monday, uh, June 10th. It's great to be with you today. Hope you had a great uh, Sunday yesterday. Hope you're able to join us in worship either um, in person or online, and we pray that you're blessed. We're continuing this series, Prisoners of Hope, and, and we're really kind of looking at, at uh, those things in our lives that, that are good, uh, all right? They're, they're, um, and yet when we use them as our Savior, as our God, uh, it, uh, they, they blow up in our lives. We, we, we cannot me- measure up, huh? Uh, and, and this la- last week, uh, yesterday, we looked at the idea of individualism. And as Americans, we know individualism, right? Stand on your own two feet, uh, take responsibility for your life, get it done. How, however you want to say that. Uh, uh, and, and I was, I was kind of raised that way, right? And so there, there's a lot of good things that has to do with that. Uh, and, and yet, um, it can't be our savior, it finally can't be that thing that fills us up because it doesn't, uh, because we can never do it perfectly. Uh, I mentioned it two weeks ago, uh, and, and I mentioned it again yesterday, but um, uh, you know, the law always accuses us because we can never do it perfect, no matter what that direction of our life is. Uh, individualism, it's good. Stand on your own two feet. Um, don't let other people influence you. Um, do, do what you think is right. You know, all, all those things, um, you do it, you do it, you do it. Uh, and yet somewhere in there, we find out we can't. There's some things that are too big for us, some things that we can't handle on our own, uh, and it's really not the way God intended us to live, um, but, but rather in, in this uh, looking to individualism, my own strength and my own work and my own responsibility to save me, uh, but, but rather he comes and he saves us in the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, and, and his way of life then that he empowers us to live is not isolated and alone, uh, but, but rather uh, we are, but rather it's connected to him in relationship and through him with others. So that's kind of what we looked at yesterday. You know, one of the uh, uh, readings, I, we, we didn't read this yesterday, but um, I, I think this is just so, uh, such a great example of how individualism can get a hold of us, okay? So, here we go. This is in Matthew 16. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. What about you? He asked, uh, he asked, who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. So here's Peter, right? He gets it. I mean, I mean, another place, this, you know, uh, the Lord says, hey, I'm going to build my church on your confession, Peter. I mean, this was, this was great stuff. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. But what did Jesus say to him? It's so interesting to me. Jesus replied, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by man, but by my Father in heaven. You didn't come to this on your own. This wasn't from you standing on your own two feet. Uh, uh, this wasn't from your own strength or your, your you know, that, that idea of, of I'm going to, I'm going to do it my way, right? I did it my way. No, 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 no. This was given to you by my father. That, that, and so, so immediately Jesus is, is, is kind of seeing the danger here. He's, he's saying, yeah, you're right, Peter, but you know, this was a gift to you. And, and then it goes on. It's so interesting. Uh, uh, then from that time on, Jesus began to explain to his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things at the hands of the elders, chief priests, and teachers of the law, that he must be killed and on the third day be raised to life. Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. Never, Lord, he said, this shall never happen to you. So here's Peter. You know, uh, he he has the gumption to stand on his own two feet and, and to declare what he knows to be true. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And, and Jesus says, remember, Peter, this was a gift given to you. You didn't come to this on your own. It's good that you're standing up on your own two feet and saying, yeah, yeah, this is true. But no, this is a gift. And, but, you, but you see how this uh, individualism can go, can leave us bonkers because immediately when we put ourselves in the place of God because of it and make ourselves our Savior, say we know what's better than anyone else, including God. That, that's what Peter was saying here. Jesus, you don't know what you're talking about. Hey, I'm the guy that just confessed you, that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. I know what's best here. And he took him aside. And, and this is pretty strong language. He rebuked Jesus. He said, what are you saying? Uh, and, 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 and that's what individualism uh, does when we, um, 
when we use it as as our God or as our Savior, right? It puts ourselves in that place, and and we just we end up crashing and burning. Has that ever happened to you? Um, that that you've crashed and burned. You're not the Savior. You're not God. Uh, God is God, and Jesus is His Savior, huh? So Jesus says to him, real strong language. He says, uh, "Get behind me, Satan! You are a stumbling block to me. You do not have in mind the things of God, but the things of men." This is really important stuff. You see, when you think about it, it was almost like the first sin, right? Uh, Adam and Eve, they they walked away from God. That's what sin does. It isolates us. It it separates us. It it's a sin. It it in a sense individualism, and the uh, is it is the, the beginning of all sin. I'm going to go my way, huh? even though it can be good sometimes, individualism, right? I'm, I'm going to do what I know is I'm going to stand on my own two feet. I'm going to do my responsibility. That's all good stuff. But, but when, it, when it goes to this place, it, 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 um, it takes us away from God. And, and what's interesting is that Jesus goes on, he says, whoever wants to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for me will find it. What good will it be for a man if he gains the whole world yet forfeits his soul? And so, um, and, and and so here Jesus kind of put it all together. Hey Peter, you, you, you can't get there on your own. Uh, you, you get there because I've come and, and connected with you, and brought you to a relationship with God again. It, 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 you have to die to to that place that says I'm going to do it my way. No, 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 Jesus' way. And you have to receive the life that he gives, see? Uh, and, and what does it matter if you do it your way and, and you pile up all this stuff that you have because you did it your way, and at the end you lose everything because you don't have it Jesus' way. So, um, so, 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 so this, is, uh, the, this prisoner of hope, uh, that's what Jesus would give us, this certainty of the life we have in him, that he is our God, that he is our Savior, um, that we don't have to measure up with individualism, stand on my own two feet, because somewhere we all fall down with that, uh, and, and and there's something too big that we can't that we can't beat. Jesus comes, and he says, "Hey, don't do it your way, do it my way. Receive the life uh, that that I would give you, and live in relationship with me. And as we'll see this week, in relationship with those around you, not cut off, not isolated. That's what sin does, but connected." All right, let's pray. Dearest Jesus, we thank you uh, that you are our Savior. Lord, um, we pray that your Spirit would touch our hearts, um, that we would uh, turn away from doing things my way and do them your way uh, in relationship with you. Uh, we thank you for this gift of grace that we can be tied to you um, in, in this certainty of the life we have in you and that we can live it out with you and with those around us. We pray in your name. Amen. All right, we'll see you uh, tomorrow. May God be with you. Bye-bye.